Good evening. Wow. Good evening. I'm so used to Scorpios doing yours at night the most. I gotta say good morning. I know it's so strange. I know, but good morning, Scorpios. We're going to do your June 25th, 2018. So without further ado, let's find out, Scorpios. God, Gaia, God, Goddess, Mother, Father, What part of the past lives does Scorpios want to see for June 25th, 2018? What a part of their past lives do Scorpios must see for June 25th, 2018? Past life with Scorpio, what do they need to unlock? Yes, unlock. So it's unlock. Unlock. Scorpios, which I need and should and know about your past lives is Scorpios. The past life, you are part of the Celtic tribe. You have traditions with the ancient world of herbs, of learning about magic and herbs, um, spices. You knew the old tradition. You knew how to merge humanity with the celestial world. How to combine the human aspect of ourselves, like the mental, mental, emotional, physical, then financial as a whole. Once you show man those one, two, three, four points of self, then you use this as an actual key to unlock the mental side of our lands, like mentally, how do we grow crops? Emotionally, what amount of attention should we give each crop? Then physically, based on its name, that will give us an opportunity to know when to put sun on it, when not to. And then from that, once it grows, it becomes bountiful for all people in the community. So let's see what Scorpios need to really know about themselves as being Celtics. I could see Scorpios as Celtics. My opposite sign is Scorpio. And I was always fascinated with druids and magic and herbs, where the spices come from. I mean, for God's sakes, we have the Silk Road. Who could imagine if China didn't have a Silk Road, I wouldn't even think of having the notion of herbs coming from the ground. So let's see what Dorian Virtue, Dorian Virtue, says about Celtic life for Scorpios. So, Scorpios, you drew this card because you had a significant past lifetime in Celtic lands, and you continue to feel bounded to this culture. Perhaps you lived in or visited the Isles of Ireland, Scotland, Wales, or England. If so, you may have since a deja vu and been an Anglophile, a person who adores these cultures. You also fascinated with Stonehenge and King Arthur's Camelot. I wouldn't be surprised, Scorpios, that you were probably the character um, Guinevere in A Nice Table or um, Merlin. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, Scorpios, you've been around for a long time. Okay. You may have learned the old religion or the Celtic lands which involved the use of herbal or healing herbs and gaining wisdom from oak and willow trees. You could even be an ancient druid in disguise. Your connection to the elemental realm has made you love fairies, elves, and all fae. You also represent the love of trees, especially oaks and willows. If you have already done so, schedule some visits to the ancient sacred areas of the United Kingdom and Ireland. Exploring the stone circles, castles, and spiritual artifacts may trigger additional healing memories. So, Scorpios, on June 25th today, check out Google today. Any community, anything in your community that has Celtic influence or a Celtic uh, historian behind it. 
You might have, you might even work in buildings that have Celtic influences. Find out when and what time period they were built and that would explain why you were probably destined to be there. So until we meet again, Scorpios, connect with your Celtic side. You have a lot in you than you realize. I love you, Scorpios. The Arkashic gatekeepers. I love you. Until we meet again, I'll see you on the other side. And we'll see you on the other side.